Hey, this is James and welcome to another Adobe Premiere Pro tutorial. Today we are going to learn about what is selection tool is in Adobe Premiere Pro and how you can use it. And also we are going to learn what is track select forward and what is track select backward tool. So let's get started. So in Premiere Pro, you'll see the timeline is here and beside the timeline, you'll see a panel, which is the tools panel. From the tools panel, the first one is the selection tool. You can select the selection tool to use it or you can press v on your keyboard that will select the selection tool also suppose you are working with this tool which is the razor tool and now you want to navigate to selection tool you can press v on your keyboard it will change the tool from the razor tool to selection tool and you can use it i'll highly suggest you to remember the keyboard shortcut that will help you to speed up your working process so you can just select any clip using the selection tool of course you can select any clip and also if you want you can change the position of any clip if you select any clip and then click and drag the clip to change the position of that clip so that is the basic feature beside that you can trim the clip using the selection tool suppose i want to trim this clip right so when i am taking my cursor at the beginning point of this section then the selection tool pointer is changing right sided arrow right so if i just click and drag it to the right side it will trim the clip so here you can see there is a gap and the clip have been trimmed till this section again if you want to trim from the end portion then you can take your cursor at the end portion then it will change the cursor pointer right and then you can click and drag it to trim it so you can see we have trimmed this clip using selection tool so that is also a feature of selection tool and suppose now you want to close this gap then you can select on this gap then it will select the gap then you can right click here then you can press ripple delete that will close the gap and now we want to close this gap also right so we need to take this clip here again we need to take this clip here right but you can select the clips together right so if i just show you you can just click on a blank space then you can click and drag to make a group of selection then you can click and drag this here to close this gap and if you want to select clip one by one then you can select a clip and then suppose you want to select this clip you can press shift on your keyboard then click here that will select this clip it will not select this clip just these two clips have been selected so you can use keyboard combination along with your selection tool to have different feature and another cool feature of selection tool is suppose this is a clip and you want to select just the video here you can see the video and audio is linked with each other but i just want to select the video for that purpose first i need to unlink the video and audio then i can select the video and audio alternatively right but if you want you can select the video and audio using the selection tool so when you are making the selection you need to press alt on your keyboard then you have to click on the video portion that will select the video and if you just want to select the audio then you can press alt and then you can click on the audio portion that will select the audio so that is another feature of selection tool but there are some limitation of selection tool suppose i want to select a lot of clip when i am working on a complex timeline this is the timeline that i have prepared which is a very complex right there are a lot of clips suppose i want to place a clip here on this section for that purpose first i need to shift all of this clip i have to select all of the clip maybe when you are selecting the clips you will have harder time to select all of the clips for that kind of scenario you can take help from track select forward or track select backward tool so in the tool panel you can see the next tool after selection tool is track select for a tool if i just click and hold here there are two tools under this group one is track select forward and other one is track select backward tool so i am selecting track select forward tool and suppose from this portion i want to select all of these clips right so i need to just click once here then that will select all of the clips from that portion to the right side of the timeline right then i can click and drag to make a blank space where i can put any clip that i want to put that is a much easier process right similarly if you want to select the clips from the beginning till this point then you can take help from track select backward tool if i click and hold here then i can select track select backward tool and then if i press here it will select the clips from this portion to my right side and now i can change the position of this clip very easily so suppose here we want to select a single track what can you do when you press shift on your keyboard the icon of track select for our tool will change right if i press shift then you can see the icon of this tool have been changed from two arrow to a single arrow now if we press here on this track it will select the clips 
on a single track again if i just want to select this track i can click here it will select this track only it will not affect all of the clips if i just want to select this audio track we can click here but one more thing if i click here on this track pressing the shift key you can see that has selected this track and this track both together right because the clip of these two track have been linked together so if you want to select the video only track then you need to press shift and or then you can click to select the video on the track and if you want to select this audio only track you can press shift then or then you can click here to select the audio track only so that is how you can use selection tool track select forward and track select backward tool in adobe premiere pro that is all for today i hope this video helped you if the video helped you and if you have learned something new from this video then you can give me a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel want to learn adobe premiere pro or video editing then you can subscribe to this channel to get more video just like this one i'll catch you guys on the next one until then goodbye